What's up everybody, back again with another reaction, and this is two things, a late night reaction, and a reaction to AEW Rampage, which normally I wouldn't do, it was a wrestling, it was a reaction on my channel, only because, you know, they tend to, you know, be like copyrighted and stuff, and I don't want to get in trouble on that, you know, front, especially because I did a reaction to, was it one of the WWE pay-per-views a couple years ago, and you know, was it, I, I actually live streamed the reaction, and it got taken down, so, and I couldn't stream for a while, so I'm not trying to have that happen, but, but, this is a special occasion, because I hear that, supposedly, CM Punk is gonna be here tonight, so, especially because they're in Chicago, and the rumors have been going around, and there's been, you know, was it, I, what I want to say, I, not like rumors, but I, like little, little teases, you know, here and there, you know, was it I, so, and for those that don't know, CM Punk is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so, now, you know, don't get me wrong, I do like Stone Cold and Undertaker and stuff, but CM Punk, oh my god, I'm a huge CM Punk fan, so, if he shows up tonight, just letting you know that, this aired about like 55 minutes ago so you know i'm not seeing this live but i have not seen no spoilers or anything so i will be just as surprised as everybody else you know is seeing this so and also just to let y'all know you know like normally i know when i'm doing reactions i have like the video like over here somewhere or whatever you know but because of the whole copyright thing there will be no footage in the corner like normal so and the sound will be turned down a little bit so so i apologize in advance for that so anyways without further ado let's get it it's friday you know what that means aew rampage is live from the sold out united center in chicago illinois 15,316 people are here to join us for the first dance, the most anticipated announcement in AEW history, and that is coming up next. Well, Daniel Garcia attacked Mox from behind on Dynamite. Now, Daniel Garcia has to deal with Mox. Shit, they gonna, oh, man. shit, they're going to start with it. Everybody's chanting already. And I am Excalibur, joined, of course, by the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, the human suplex machine, Taz, and Chris Jericho after the events from Dynamite, taking some time to collect himself to do some soul searching. He'll be back next week, but JR, you picked a hell of a night to join us. You know, the last time I was in this venue was 1994. I'll never forget that night, but this has already superseded it. Ladies and gentlemen, what a special night. He's there! Oh my god! Yes! Fuck yeah! Let's fucking go! It's clobbering time! Has arrived in all elite wrestling. This building has 
I thought I would never ever see him see CM Punk in a ring again. Holy sh me me too, dude, me too. He was crying. Brock Lesnar, dude. I wonder if he's going to say it. Everybody's attention now. God, it's been that long. Seven plus years. Holy shit. You guys really know how to make a kid feel like Britt Baker in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I'm winging this, dear. We're winging this. We. That's a very important distinction. We'll get back to it, but I didn't plan on what I was going to say because I didn't know what to say. Because I didn't know how I was going to feel, but I knew that I needed to feel it. I feel you, Chicago. And I hear you, Chicago. There's good news and bad news. The bad news is we're not going to get to it all right here, right now. But the good news is, is I got the time. Wednesday, Friday, 
four Sundays or Saturdays a year. I got the time and I ain't going anywhere. Hell yeah. Wait, one second. Possibly for me, the most important thing I'm going to say right now, and this is for everybody at home, this is for everybody who bought a ticket, this is for everybody in the back. If at all through my journey, any of my personal choices or decisions related to my life made you feel disappointed or let down, let me just say, Let me just say, I understand if you all try to understand that I was never going to get healthy physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, staying in the same place that got me sick in the first place. Hell yeah. I know that's right. This point, I love WWE. But for all the shit that they put him through, fuck WWE. Can I tell you guys a story? Hell yeah. It's hot in here. Hang on one second. <laughs> Yo, I'm copping that t-shirt. First chance I get, that t-shirt is mine. Can I tell you a story? Hell yeah. There you go. You know it's on when he sits down. You see, I felt before like I had to leave. I didn't want to, but I knew I couldn't stay, and that was when I used to work for a place called Ring of Honor. August 13th, 2005 was my la last match in Ring of Honor, and I famously came out with tears in my eyes. And walking out here today, I now know why I was crying and it was a lot of reasons but what it boiled down to was I had made a place where people could come work get paid learn their craft and love professional wrestling and I cried because I knew I was leaving a place that I love and it was a home, and I knew where I was going. It wasn't going to be easy for a guy like me, because I'm one of you. So I look at it like this. August 13th, 2005, I left professional wrestling. August 20th, 2021. I'm back. And I'm back for you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm back for me too, but I'm back because there's a hell of a lot of young talent that I wish I was surrounded by 10 years ago. So in saying that, I sit back and I say, well, hell, they're there now, so why aren't you? Here I am. I'm back because I wanna work with that young talent that had the same passion that I had stamped out. I'm back because there's a couple of scores to settle in that locker room. I'm back for the young guys. Darby Allen! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. 
Got the bat. Oh, shit. I seen you. You're good. I've seen you jump out of airplanes. I've seen you wrapped up in a body bag and chucked over the top rope. I've seen you kick down a flight of stairs and you always come back. Just like each and every person here in Chicago, you're tough. But I'm here to help you. And you're the first on the list. I'm gonna help you because you're a daredevil and you like danger. Well, Darby Allen, there is nothing you could do that is more dangerous than wrestling CM Punk. Except wrestling CM Punk in Chicago. Here we go. I will see you. And I'll see Sting, and I'll see all of you, September 5th, at All Out, live on pay-per-view. I'm back. Hell yeah. Damn. Well, that's huge. See him pop back on pay-per-view. He's all AEW September 5th. And the chills are running up down my spine. <laughs> Punk and Darby Allen? Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, one more thing. Seven years is an awful long time to wait for somebody. I appreciate everybody here who has waited. So on your way out of the United Center tonight, grab yourself a free ice cream bar on me. <laughs> Oh my god. We finally got to see him. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. I'm definitely watching AEW from now on. I think CM Punk wanted to test himself. And what bigger test is there in AEW for Punk than Darby Allen? And CM Punk mentioned that after our main event, all the fans here in the United Center will get an ice cream treat. And yeah. gentlemen, we got a sneak preview. Yeah, well, hey, hey, I'm, I'm fixing to take a bite. Oh, but not a little bit. For They're actually CM Punk ice cream bar. <laughs> Tremendous, tremendous event for the rest of Rampage. Oh, absolutely in our main event. Hey, listen, Daniel Garcia, well, this young man, he jumped Moxie from behind on Dynamite. <laughs> and now Garcia has to deal one-on-one -on -one with Mox tonight in our main event. And the impressive Jay Cargill will take him on a one-on-one -on -one competition. Kira Hogan, don't sleep on that one. And in the first World Tag Team Championship Eliminator semifinal match, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus take on Private Party to see who gets one step closer to All Out and the Steel Cage match on pay-per-view. But right now, standing by is the undefeated Christian Cage with Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, who just in a matter of moments will be in action here tonight on AEW Rampage. Oh my god, dude, I, I'm... That was... He's back. Finally, after seven long years. Seven long years of rumors, speculation. That CM Punk is going here, CM Punk is going there. And CM Punk is all elite. So, 
and it's still the best in the world. So, I'm so happy right now. There's not anything I can say to describe how happy I am right now. So, but anyways, if you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification, and thanks.